Have you ever wanted to stealthily game in the office without getting caught? If the answer is yes, don't look further than the ThinkBook 15P Generation 2, which carries high-powered powered H-series CPUs, a quality display, and several GPUs from NVIDIA, which will certainly pique your interest. On the outside, the laptop has the standard ThinkBook treatment, which we've grown to love. The aluminum body is tough, with both the lid and the base showing great resistance to flex. The hinges are a bit stiff, but the laptop still opens with one hand, with a 180-degree range of motion. Despite the DGPU and the H-Series CPUs, the laptop weighs only 1.9 kilograms and has a profile of less than 20 millimeters. The base has a full-sized keyboard that's very comfortable for typing, despite the shorter key travel. The trackpad is covered in Mylar, which is vintage Lenovo at this point. It makes for a very smooth surface, but the tracking is a bit disappointing. The ports are located on the sides, with two full-sized USBs, one Thunderbolt 4 port, LAN port, HDMI 2.0 connector, audio jack, and an SD card reader. The laptop offers FHD or UHD display resolution options, both being with an IPS panel. For once, we treated ourselves to the 4K option, which is so sharp at 15.6 inches, while also having a max brightness of 679 nits, one of the highest we've ever tested on a laptop. It covers 97% of the sRGB gamut and 88% of the DCI P3 gamut, but the Delta E value doesn't get low enough even with our design and gaming profile. It's good to know that the FHD display also has good color coverage, in case you don't need that many pixels. The 57 Watt Hours battery pack doesn't favor the 4K display, with the ThinkBook lasting for only 7 hours and 47 minutes of web browsing, or 5 hours and 39 minutes of video playback. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Despite carrying Tiger Lake H-Series hardware, the laptop doesn't perform up to our expectations, with the Core i7-11800H being quite behind other competitors, both Intel and AMD powered. In terms of graphics, we have an RTX 3050 Ti with a 50 watts TGP. It squares off pretty well against the competition, while also doing pretty well in games. By the way, check out our new channel where we test all popular graphics cards on all popular games, on all presets. It's a lot of work and we'll be happy if you subscribe to it. The laptop is cooled by a pretty simple setup with two heat pipes and two fans that are bunched up together, which isn't ideal. In our stress test, the Core i7 starts off well, reaching 3.45 GHz, at the expense of running at 96 degrees Celsius. In the later stages, the speed drops to 2.8 GHz, and the temperature hovers at 77 degrees Celsius. As for the graphics, the 3050 Ti has a stable speed of around 1536 MHz and maintains a low temperature of 69 degrees Celsius, while maxing out its 50 watts TGP. Comfort is great, with not a lot of noise and a low base temperature that will keep your hands comfy and relaxed. Lastly, the laptop can sustain the ever-increasing RAM and storage requirements, thanks to the two SODIMM slots, which fit up to 64GB of DDR4 memory, and the two M.2 slots, which are full-sized, while one of them fits generation for SSDs. For further info about the teardown process, check out our detailed video in the description. Lenovo has chosen to prioritize comfort, which is fair, as there definitely are people who want a silent and cool laptop, while still having a large display with good colors. Keep in mind that the 4K panel will be overkill for most office workers, so you might want to do yourself a favor and look into the Full HD display, which will save both cash and battery life. 
If you feel like there's anything we missed, check out our written review, which goes more in-depth and covers everything there is to know about the Lenovo ThinkBook 15P Generation 2.